Okay. Um, for eighty-two. Burr, 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 burr. Let's let's clear this off. Hmm. For eighty-two. So what I think I'll do is change that into half sine two x using a double angle trig rule. Um, so now the antiderivative would be um, a quarter minus a quarter cos 2x plus c. Oh, variety tray. Okay. Hmm. So I'm thinking about 483. Let's have a look about it. It's kind of a bit tricky now. Um It looks like sine x, sine x, cos x, um, let's uh, sketch something on the side here. So if you had something like Let's say something like sine cos 2x. So the derivative of that would be cos using the chain rule. No, no, that's not it. That's not it. Oh, maybe it was something like sine. What would sine x squared be? That would be 2 sine cos so maybe what would be if it was cubed tree sine squared x cos x mm. so maybe it's one third sine cubed x plus c yeah i think that's it 484 uh, that would just be a constant. Uh, R eighty five. Let's see. The cosec squared <clears throat> is one over sine squared. Uh, is that cotan? If I have cos x over sine x, the derivative of that would be sine squared x, and then the bottom times the derivative of the top, which is minus sine squared, minus the top times the bottom. So that's minus one over sine squared. So cos x squared x. But there's a half in front of it. So minus a half cotan x. Minus one over x plus c. And that's it. Oh, these are getting tough. Cosec times cot. Cosec is one over sine. And cotan is cos over sine. Uh, <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. That's a toughy one. 
that's a toughy one. Maybe I should stop the video here and deal with that one separately in a different video.